We're here at Autodesk University in Las Vegas, and we're talking to Ryan Montruccio. Hey, Ryan. Hello, how you doing? Good, good. How you doing? Excellent. What do we got here? Um, this is a scene created at Pacific Digital Image in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, a pair of sunglasses, the first all sunglasses. And we're just showing off the features inside Caustic Visualizer, which is a plug-in for Maya. Right. And it gives you ray tracing inside the viewport windows. So, so this is a fully ray traced viewport that you're showing there on the correct. right. And that's just taking over one of the Maya viewports. Exactly. Very that cool. That means I have all the capabilities of Maya and all my modeling, my animation, my texturing, lighting, all that still in there and I can look mm -hmm. at a ray traced image while I do it. Wow. And so I, I noticed that it's converging very quickly. Mm -hmm. And so, so it's using the, co the new Caustic R2500 uh, ray tracing acceleration board. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Correct. So that's, that's how we're getting such uh, fast performance. Fast performance. Yeah. I see. Now I have this thing, this uh, set up as such. So you have, let me toggle this over, we'll close this up here. Oh, okay, so you've got that rigged. Yeah, it's a rigged character, no problem. I can yeah. also look at skeletons in here too if I wanted to. I have, I can see all the Maya interface. And so I'm seeing that update. So I can now see geometry on top. Oh, oh look at that. That's so great. I can, oh, let me select the vertex, grab it, move it up, and see exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so anything that I can normally do in a Maya viewport, I can do in the Caustic Visualizer viewport. Correct. I see. So let me get this back. <coughs> can you change the color of the lens? Yes, I can. How easy is now, that to do? Let me grab this little ridge here. To do that, I have it set up here, so I can go from amber to blue. Well, I could, I could imagine how that would be really valuable. You're sitting down with the client, Client right. says, okay, I want to see different lenses, maybe even different frames. Exactly. Right? And I, I had this rigged this way because of doing flame work for years. I'm used to sitting with the client and having quick response and getting it done fast. Mm -hmm. right, you want this, you want that, let me change it for you. Well, you really couldn't do that in a 3D package until, about, until now. I see. So now I can just change the lens frame. There's that color. I can go to white. Can you go full one. screen with Caustic Visualizer? I'm sorry, what? Can you go full screen with Caustic oh, Visualizer? Yeah. Yeah, I like the Havana ones, and we'll go amber. Right. Oh, okay. There you go. And it's converging so, very quickly again. Yep. Seems like even the first pass, I'm, I'm, I'm getting enough information, yep. you know, you know exactly to start making happen. decisions. Correct. Back it up here. Wow. And we have an HDR image going on in the background. Uh -huh. So if I hide that, you can see what's going on, how it's getting some of the lighting. I see. So, and all the reflections what have you. Very cool. Okay, so Caustic Visualizer for Maya, is, is, it, is it available? It's can available. You can get it at www.caustic.com. You can download it there. Mm -hmm. And the R2500 card is available, I believe, about mid-January. Great. You can get pre-orders now. So, thank you very much for your time. Fantastic, Ryan. Thank you. Bye now. Bye.